you ever been in a situation where you're struggling to get the report out on time because the requirements keep changing? Or formatting of those new reports just takes a little bit too long when it's crunch time and management report pack is due in the next 30 minutes. I mean yesterday. If you're nodding now, you know the struggle is real. But don't worry, we've got the solution for you. Enters Slice with its cross-drill feature. Now this should allow you to design and format your report only once. And with that, you let the user to interact with the data using cross drills themselves. Now this should be able to handle the majority of the requirements by using the cross drill analytics without going back and forth with the project or report manager, aka yourself, to create that new report. So what that does is it should dramatically cut down the amount of new change requests you have just because there's a couple of views out of your entire report pack that someone wants a couple of variations of. To start the demonstration, let's have a look at what model we're working with and what scenario that we've got here. So, my job as I'm going to be Bob the Builder, and today, <laughs> and today my role as a FP&A report manager is my job to produce management reporting pack PNL for three years for my store managers to do their planning for my company ABC Retail. And so as a part of my pack, I've got a PL here with my uh, profit and loss going three years. Now, let's look at how we can empower our report using Slice for Tier 1 and specifically using the cross drill feature that can be implemented in seconds. So let's go through step by step. We're going to export this into an active form as a common starting place for building all our exciting reports. OK. It's going to export all this data and format into our workbook. And as we export it out as an active form, we get a classic look and feel for the for the yellow and blue report. And we're going to use Slice quickly to format this because as uh, the introduction of this video, we want to produce a one-time formatted design report that can be reused over time to hit different use cases with the help of cross drill. So it's that part of that process. I'm going to copy and paste some data up here and I'm not going to use the shortcut key. I'm going to show you step by step how to get this done. I'm going to paste special paste values to the top so I can use them as a reference point to do my formatting. I'm going to copy them all down, uh, all down, right? I'll also take this opportunity to update the width of my columns. I'm going to now go and change this to comma separated and I'm going to remove the decimal places I don't think we need them and I'm going to remove the background because my boss doesn't like yellow and blue background prefers white okay now that we've done that I'm going to now hide my uh, formatting I'm going to rebuild my book now I've got everything that I need now, if you do want to go back and fix the formatting, like for example, you publish this report and someone goes, I don't like the look and feel of this. For example, in this case, the font is too big on the numbers. No problem. Let's open that again. And we change these from 14 to 12. Wonderful. Okay, let's rebuild the book. Now it's got size. 12 fonts. Okay, now with that done, let's have a look at cross drill. So now that I've published this report, I'm very happy with it. I'm about to go home. Oh, hey, Bob, uh, can you update the report for me? I just need to see all the expenses across all the stores, uh, also across uh, 2022, 23, 24. Cheers, mate. So typically, we'll have to go and build a new report, but in this case, I can just hit the expense line slice cross drill by my different stores boom do they add up yes they do yes one four five four oh five five one that's exactly what i've got for the sydney stores okay now let's dive in a little bit deeper and Using the same report example, instead of just looking at Australian stores or Sydney stores, I want to look at everything across the entire company with different stores across the world. So here in in the top part, the sub NM, instead of using a Australian store, I just select all company or total company, whatever your hierarchy might be in your case. 
I saved that, I rebuilt the sheet. So it knows we're working with all companies' data. And then go back to the previous request. I'm gonna go back to the expenses, go slice, cross drill by different companies. And voila, I've got an analytical view of how the different companies is building up the expense of this total number. So for example, if I now look at 2023's numbers, the expense across the world, it would appear that Sydney is the most expensive. <laughs> and there you go. I've just saved myself a whole bunch of headache to maintain new reports. And of course to build, design and formatting new reports, which is a copy of an existing report just for those special cases. You're welcome. There are lots of products out there that claims to provide similar types of features, but not many have the same ease of use and the same empowerment to the users and keeping the benefits of data governance, security, as the cross drill feature in Team One Slice. Now, no matter how you slice it, there's really only one version of the truth without duplicating the data or complexity behind the scenes. And that's it. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video or found this video helpful. If you want more videos like this one, hit that bell icon to like and subscribe for future updates. And if you want to learn more about Team One Slice or Team One Planning Analytics, head over to cubewise.com. We'll see you in the next video.